Okay, so now let's jump back to Merit and Arise, which we saw on the front uh, page of this webinar. So you've got 367 one and two bedroom luxury apartments. Um, at this particular site, uh, Sunpack hot water designed and installed energy efficient heat pumps for all the towers. Um, this building was set up with remote meter reading capability and the company known as Wing Connect is the billing service provider for um, reading those meters and billing all the individual apartments for hot water. Now, um, if this building had been run on gas, um, it would be costing about 60% more uh, for heating hot water in comparison with the heat pump solution that they have today. Now, if we jump onto the top of the roof of uh, Meriton Arise, you can see down the bottom here, the thing that looks like an air conditioner is one of the heat pumps and you've got a lot of hot water storage tanks there. Um, the, the heat pump is able to expel its cold air uh, and there's no risk of the heat pump sucking in its cold air, again, uh, reducing its coefficient of performance. Um, so the, the coefficient uh, of performance around a heat pump can uh, be very high, over five, uh, for an individual house, maybe six or 6.3, um, which is unheard of compared with, uh, you know, traditional electric or gas hot water systems um, performance. Uh, here we are on top of one of the other towers. You can see that uh, there's the need to exhaust the cold air from the heat pumps and, uh, and, and that's being uh, funneled out through the grill. Uh, some more storage tanks to the left. Now, if we jump, jump down into a smaller apartment complex. So this is Generation W, which is located in Woolabaloo. 35 apartments across five buildings in a converted wall shed. Uh, back in 2018, one of their gas hot water boilers started leaking. Now, uh, an apartment complex that gets the first leaking hot water, um, gas hot water boiler, um, can actually run for a period of time. Um, if you've got a bank of three or four uh, gas hot water tanks, um, you can run the apartment on three, usually rather than four, for a month or two without creating too much uh, extra stress on the operating tanks. This gives the building the time to investigate getting a heat pump solution and decommissioning their existing hot water plant. Uh, so this building got three different quotes. Uh, they decided to install six integrated heat pump and storage units. Uh, they didn't have any gas cooktops or space heating, so they disconnected gas entirely from the premises and escaped the Gemini meter reading monopoly entirely. So a heat pump project here cost around $60,000, savings of about 15,000 a year, payback over four years. Uh, so this is what uh, Generation W's uh, central gas hot water plant looked like before the upgrade, uh, four gas hot water tanks uh, with the flumes to uh, you know, exhaust the gas. This is the aftershot where you've got six, uh, in this case, quantum hot water uh, heat pumps. You can see the heat pumps are on the top and the storage units are below. So this is an example of fitting um, a heat pump into um, a relatively small hot water plant room uh, off the side of the basement car park. Um, there's also a ventilation fan uh, here on a, on a thermostat. Uh, if it gets too cold in this area, the, uh, the thermostat triggers the fan to run, blowing that cold air away from the heat pumps uh, and dispersing it over the cars in the car park area so that the heat pumps aren't sucking in their own cold air and they're sucking in warm air and operating efficiently. Now we'll move over to 17 Grasmere Road in Cremorne. So this is uh, 15 apartments across two buildings. We'd call it your typical uh, white brick walk up from the 70s. Uh, they actually had 
something unusual for a, a building with just 15 apartments, they had two gas hot water boiler rooms, one for each of their blocks. Um, and they had two by 260 litre gas hot water boilers in each of their hot water plant rooms. Now, what they did was they installed two generic heat pumps on the wall of the building uh, with a new pipe to take condensation away from the heat pumps and put it down um, uh, a drain. Um, they disconnected gas from the hot water plant and they're trialling hot water paid through Strata levies, uh, which I should have mentioned Generation W as well. Um, trial, also trialling uh, paying hot water through strata levies as a service. Um, this obviously works where you've got a fairly high proportion of um, owner occupiers in the building. Uh, so this is another example of an apartment building that's escaped the Gemini meter reading monopoly in, entirely. Now the cost of the two heat pump systems here, um, about 30,000 They got, after they got a $4,000 uh, federal rebate. Um, payback a little bit longer here because obviously they bought two heat pump systems for just 15 apartment buildings. So uh, about seven and a half years. They've got a plan to put solar panels on the roof of their building. Um, after they've done that project, the combination of solar panels, solar photovoltaic panels generating el electricity on the roof and powering one of two uh, heat pump hot water cycles the, um, that are occurring each day will actually drive the, uh, the payback down to about 6.3 years for this building. So just uh, to give you an insight into these uh, heat pumps, basically they'll run one heating cycle that might run from say uh, in summertime, four and a half hours, uh, in wintertime, maybe six hours to heat the water. And you would run that like from midday to about six o'clock so that there's a full, uh, full tanks of hot water for people uh, get arriving home from work. Um, and then uh, that, that hot water is used up and then there's another heating cycle with the heat pumps uh, through the night time uh, to fill up those uh, hot water tanks again, ready for the morning rush as people get up, have a shower, uh, you know, use the, the kitchen before they head off to work. So um, the combination of solar photovoltaic panels on the roof of an apartment complex and an electric heat pump can get you the theoretical cheapest hot water um, available in Strata. And I'll just give you an insight. Uh, we're laying down a challenge to um, a Strata building that wants to move ahead with this. So um, if I said to you, um, how do you feel about paying $1.33 uh, for each litre of hot water under a bulk hot water deal with a very large uh, energy retailer that owns the hot water plant in an apartment building and is also charging you uh, 66 cents uh, connection fee, supply fee per apartment every single day. Um, versus um, energy efficient heat pumps, solar photovoltaic on the roof, um, solar power generated locally, powering one of the heat pump cycles. The challenge is for a strata building to get the cost of hot water down to 13 cents a litre with no connection fees and no supply, daily supply charges for any of the individual apartments. So that is uh, basically where our apartments need to be heading in order to uh, future-proof themselves and uh, you know empower themselves to own their hot water infrastructure and not be reliant on meter reading monopolies or large energy retailers uh, owning hot water plant and equipment. So as we move forward, this is uh, 17 Grassmere Road. Um, you've got um, the before shots. These are the two hot water rooms uh, with the ream gas hot water tanks in them. And then after the upgrade, you can see on the wall here, the two heat pump uh, systems. Uh, that new piping going down to the drain is taking condensation away from the heat pumps. Um, and then, uh, inside the 
uh, the room in the center of the picture, you've got the larger hot water storage tanks uh, storing that water. And this is repeated in the, the back room the back, uh, with two more storage tanks um, in, for the back block. So great work over there at uh, Seven and Grassmere Road, uh, setting up something showing how you can transform one of the older apartment buildings in Australia into um, an energy efficient uh, apartment building that is future proofed and, uh, and ready to move ahead with renewable energy.